Hey YouTube, Jacob with Good To Go Gear. Uh, here to do another use test of the CRKT Woods Chogan. Um, I got my Christmas tree here. And uh, eh, we're going to chop it up <laughs> and burn it. <laughs> um, and I like this this tomahawk or the like a light hatchet. I like it a lot. It's light. I've already been doing it a little bit. Um, and chopped, and I haven't. I still haven't sharpened this from the first time that I used it. Um, it goes right through these branches like nothing. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clear the tree and do some chops on it. So. Uh, it chops pretty good, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and clear the tree. And, uh, sorry, my dog is kind of skittish when I start chopping. I know on YouTube videos, everybody always says, you know, stand on one side of it and clear it, and then the other side of it and clear it. But uh, how the hell are you supposed to do that with a tree? Like, if I start clearing here, what am I supposed to do? Switch this side and clear and switch? That almost seems like a pain in the ass. You know, hopefully, I almost chopped my leg off. Maybe. And I'm not even having to swing, you know, really hard or anything. <laughs> Sorry, my son loves the dog. That's actually the neighbor dog. <laughs> That's my son pointing at our dog. <laughs> You know, so I decided to do this because my wife and I weren't really sure, uh, living in the city, how to get rid, rid of the Christmas tree. <laughs> so, uh, this is our first time getting a real one. I figure since my son's old enough to remember Christmas a little bit, uh, we'd get a real one, but we just weren't sure how to get rid of it. So. I'm not good in my left hand. And I've got a fire pit, so we're gonna try to burn this stuff. So. <laughs> the dog's eating it. in the hole of the dog dog. It rained recently. And it rained yesterday real bad. That was perfect. But whatever.
See, the problem is, well, not so much that, but like the first cut will take it off, but then it kind of goes into the bark. So, I'm still attached to the tree. See like there, the first cut severed it, but as you can see, the bark, uh, I mean, that's real sappy, you know, held on to it. I thought this would take longer. Uh, but it's actually not taking like that long at all. I am feeling some arm fatigue, you know, right here. But uh, it's probably because I don't do this all the time. <laughs> so. And then the top of the tree actually came out to about here. But to get it out of the house, we chopped that off <laughs> with some pruning shears to get it out of the house. So anyway, Jacob, good to go gear. This thing's making light work of a Christmas tree. So see you later.